Wow, do we have a very special astrological event happening in the skies this week? One that you could say is the most powerful transit of not only this year, but even many to come. I'm referring to the once in a lifetime Jupiter Uranus conjunction at 21 degrees Taurus, happening at 8.27 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, April 20th. And for all the potheads out there, yes, that would be 420 for you. <laughs> now, although this transit exacts on Saturday, its energy isn't likely to manifest on this exact day. See, Jupiter and Uranus conjoin forces approximately once every 14 years, therefore creating a synodic cycle that will continue to develop over this span of time. Holding on to the Taurian energy as Jupiter and Uranus continue to speak about this moment, but continue to travel through the zodiac until they meet again, which will next happen in the sign Cancer in the year 2038. So maybe a 14 year synodic cycle seems less impressive compared to a once in a lifetime event. But if you're watching this video, I think it's safe to assume you weren't alive in 1941 when the last time this conjunction took place in the sign Taurus. But if you were, please let me know because you deserve a shout out. And if you just so happen to be alive for another 80 years to experience this again, you probably won't care much about how it'll affect you. But then again, who knows? This is a kind of conjunction that just might invent ways to extend your life far beyond the current average lifespan. Overall, this transit is lucky, yet disruptive, bringing about transformative energy that wants to liberate ourselves from the status quo and cultivate a deeper connection to the physical world, living authentically with an expansive sense of freedom. I don't know about you, but this is the energy I deeply desire to resonate with. If you're new here, welcome to Stella Sage, the channel all about holistic healing and personal development inspired by the cosmos. I'm Brie, a Reiki master, yoga instructor, and the founder of the occult beauty boutique, Stella Sage, where you can get your own crop tea just like this, which I specifically chose to wear as it seems to be speaking of this very energy of this transit. Head in the clouds, but my gravity centered. If you don't know why, don't worry, just means you are watching the right video. But before we dive in, please be so kind to hit that thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel and then introduce yourself in the comments because I would love to meet you. Thank you. So now, together, let's dive deep into understanding the energies of this transit so that we can sync up with its frequency and alchemize with its power, co-creating with the cosmos. In this video, we'll study the sign Taurus and the planets Jupiter and Uranus in depth so that we can synthesize how they are working together in conjunction, as well as discuss the other major planetary transits occurring alongside this conjunction, which are influencing how this energy is being expressed. We'll unveil the hidden esoteric message that the universe is speaking to us through the numerology and Sabian symbol for this degree point. And lastly, I'll share some ideas for what you can incorporate into your ritual practice so that you can best tap into this powerful energy and consciously work with this once in a lifetime transit. So make sure that you watch this all the way through so that you can get the most out of it. And feel free to adjust the speed to your liking by selecting from the gear icon. Now, Let's gossip about Taurus, shall we? In astrology, Taurus is the second sign of the zodiac, ruled by the planet Venus. The second house is associated with matters related to personal resources, values, finances, and self-worth. Venus is a planet of love, beauty, values, and harmony. As a result, individuals with strong Taurus placements often have an appreciation for aesthetics, luxury, and the finer things in life. Venus also governs relationships and social interactions, highlighting Taurus's emphasis on loyalty and emotional security. Taurus is a fixed Earth sign. Earth signs, which also include Virgo and Capricorn, are known for their grounded nature, practicality, and focus on the material world. Fixed signs, which are Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo, indicate traits associated with stability, persistence, and a tendency to resist change. Taurus is associated with the senses and physical pleasures. Individuals with Taurus placements often have a strong connection to their physical bodies and enjoy indulging in sensory experiences such as good food, comfortable surroundings, and physical affection. Taurus values stability, security, and routine. Individuals with Taurus placements seek comfort and reliability in their lives, 
often preferring familiar environments and routines that provide a sense of security. Taurus is known for its determination and persistence in pursuing its goals. Once a Taurus sets its sights on something, it's unlikely to give up easily. This can manifest as stubbornness at times, but it also reflects Taurus's ability to stay committed and focused. Taurus is a practical and resourceful sign with a knack for managing finances and resources. Individuals with Taurus placements tend to be financially savvy and value material security. Now let's talk about the planets. In astrology, Jupiter is one of the more significant planets, often referred to as the greater benefic, due to its generally positive influence. Side note, Venus, Taurus's ruler, is considered the lesser benefic. Point being, there's a lot of good energy here. Jupiter is associated with the ninth house and rules over the sign Sagittarius, as well as Pisces in traditional astrology. It takes about one year to travel through one zodiac sign, which varies slightly due to its retrograde cycle. Jupiter retrogrades approximately once a year for around four months at a time. Its placement in your birth chart can provide insights into your beliefs, values, and areas where you may experience blessings and opportunities for growth over the course of this lifetime. Jupiter is associated with expansion, growth, and abundance. Wherever Jupiter is placed in a chart, it tends to amplify and enlarge the qualities and experiences associated with that area of life. Jupiter brings a sense of optimism, hope, and opportunity. It encourages exploration and adventure, as well as a positive outlook on life. Individuals with prominent Jupiter placements often possess a natural sense of faith and belief in the abundance of the universe. Jupiter is often linked with luck, good fortune, and blessings. Its presence by transit can indicate areas of life that you can experience a period of prosperity, success, and fortunate circumstances. However, it's important to note that Jupiter's influence may not always manifest as external rewards. It can also bring inner growth and spiritual blessings. Jupiter is associated with higher knowledge, wisdom, and spirituality. It governs our philosophical beliefs, our search for meaning, and our understanding of the world beyond the material realm. Jupiter encourages us to expand our minds, explore different perspectives, and seek truth and wisdom. Jupiter is linked with generosity, abundance, and philanthropy. It encourages us to share our blessings with others and cultivate an attitude of gratitude for what we have. Jupiter's influence can also manifest as opportunities to be of service to others and to contribute to the greater good. But on the negative side, Jupiter's influence can sometimes lead to excess, overindulgence, or extravagance. It's associated with the tendency to overestimate our abilities or to take risks without considering the consequences. So it's important to balance Jupiter's expansive energy with practicality and moderation. Jupiter rules a long distance travel, foreign cultures, and higher education. It encourages us to broaden our horizons through travel, study, and exposure to new ideas and experiences. Jupiter's influence can spark a desire for adventure and a thirst for knowledge about the world around us. Then on the other hand, Uranus is known as the Awakener or the Great Liberator due to its association with innovation, rebellion, and sudden change. Uranus rules over the 11th house and the sign Aquarius. It is considered a generational planet due to its longer orbit and spends around seven years in one sign before moving on to the next. Uranus also retrogrades approximately once a year with each retrograde phase lasting around five months. Its placement in your birth chart can provide insights into your unique approach to change innovation, and individuality, as well as areas of life where you may experience sudden breakthroughs or disruptions. Think tower card in the tarot. Uranus is associated with sudden and unexpected changes that disrupt the status quo. It rules revolution, progress, and innovation, encouraging us to break free from conventions and embrace new ideas and perspectives. Uranus encourages individuality, originality, and the pursuit of personal freedom. It encourages us to express our unique qualities and reject societal norms or limitations that hinder our self-expression. Uranus is linked with rebellion and defiance against authority or oppressive structures. It seeks to challenge the existing order and instigate social change. Although Uranus energy can be disruptive, this is often necessary for progress and evolution. Uranus rules technology, science, and futurism. It governs advancements in technology, breakthroughs in science, and the exploration of futuristic concepts. Uranus encourages us to embrace technological innovation and adapt to the rapid pace of change in the modern world. Uranus is unpredictable and eccentric often manifesting as unconventional behavior, sudden insights, or flashes of intuition. It can bring unexpected events or disruptions that shake us out of our complacency and stimulate growth and transformation. 
Uranus is associated with humanitarian causes, social justice, and collective movements aimed at creating a better world for all. It encourages us to cultivate empathy, compassion, and a sense of solidarity with others, especially those that are marginalized or oppressed. Uranus symbolizes freedom, independence, and a desire for autonomy. It prompts us to break free from restrictions and limitations that prevent us from living authentically and pursuing our true aspirations. Uranus rules unconventional interests, hobbies, and pursuits that defy traditional categorization. It encourages us to explore diverse interests and to embrace our quirks. So now that we understand in depth how these energies express themselves individually, we can see how Jupiter conjunct Uranus in Taurus is a once in a lifetime transit that can really shake up our world for the better. It's a time to expect the unexpected. To take advantage of this transit, be ready to adapt to sudden changes that bring opportunities for growth in the realms of personal values, resources, and your material well-being. Take a look at which area of life Taurus occupies in your whole sign chart based on your rising sign. If you use Placidus house system, look to where 21 degrees Taurus lands in your chart. For me, these tend to be two different houses, and I personally like to consider both houses for all transit interpretations. Now keep this area of life in mind as we discuss the ways in which this transit could manifest. To consciously co-create with the cosmos, think about how you could take advantage of these themes working for you in the area of life where this transit is taking place for you. This transit can manifest as sudden windfalls or unexpected opportunities for financial growth. Investments made during this time may yield unexpected returns but caution is advised as Uranus can bring volatility. You could feel compelled to explore new and unconventional ways of making money or managing resources. Entrepreneurial endeavors that embrace innovation and technology could thrive under this influence. Since Taurus is linked with values and possessions, with Uranus in the mix, there might be a sudden shift in personal values or the desire to break free from conventional societal norms regarding wealth and possessions. We could see more people choosing to prioritize freedom and authenticity over material security. Taurus is also associated with creativity, particularly in the realms of art and music. This transit could inspire individuals to explore new artistic techniques or to express themselves in unconventional ways. While Taurus seeks stability, the conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus could disrupt the status quo. This could manifest as unexpected changes in employment, housing, or financial circumstances. However, these disruptions may ultimately lead to positive growth and expansion. This Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus can bring about a revolution in values, prompting individuals and society as a whole to reevaluate what is truly important and meaningful. There may be a shift towards valuing innovation, sustainability, and collective well-being over traditional notions of wealth and status. Individuals may feel compelled to explore new philosophies, ideologies, and spiritual practices that challenge their existing beliefs and expand their understanding of the world. Taurus is a sign associated with tradition, stability, and conservatism. However, with the influence of Uranus, there may be a desire to break free from traditional belief systems and embrace progressive or unconventional ideas. Individuals may question long-held beliefs and societal norms, seeking greater freedom of thought and expression. Uranus encourages diversity, individuality, and the celebration of differences. During this conjunction, there may be a greater emphasis on inclusivity and acceptance of diverse belief systems, cultures, and perspectives. People may be more open-minded and willing to explore alternative ways of thinking and living. With the Great Awakener Uranus connecting with the higher mind of Jupiterian beliefs in Taurus, this could present a time when our collective consciousness is in alignment to receive direct contact from higher dimensional alien beings within our earthly realm. At the very least, it will help us to ground our developing higher dimensional 5D frequencies on this earth plane. Jupiter's influence can inspire idealism and optimism, even in the face of uncertainty and change. The Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in Taurus may ignite a sense of hope and possibility, encouraging individuals to envision a more just, equitable, and sustainable world based on their evolving belief systems. Overall, Jupiter conjunct Uranus and Taurus is a dynamic and potentially liberating transit that encourages us to embrace change, explore new possibilities, and reassess our relationship with material wealth and personal values. It's a time to be open-minded, flexible, and willing to adapt to unexpected opportunities that may arise. But now let's look at this even a few steps deeper as we understand the significance of the degree point this conjunction is taking place, 21 degrees Taurus. In numerology, the number 21 is considered a blend of the energies and attributes of the numbers two and one. 
To understand its significance, let's break it down. The number two is associated with balance, harmony, cooperation, and relationships. It represents duality, partnership, and the idea of coming together with others to achieve mutual goals. The number two also signifies sensitivity, intuition, and diplomacy. The number one is associated with independence, leadership, ambition, and new beginnings. It symbolizes individuality, initiative, and the ability to take action to manifest one's desires. The number one also represents originality, self-confidence, and success. The presence of both the number two and the number one suggests a new beginning in relation to the balance between individual initiative and cooperative efforts. So the number 21 possesses the energy of creative talents and leadership abilities that can be used effectively in collaborative efforts to achieve success through a sensitive and adaptable approach. The number 21 also holds the energy of a number three in its reduced form. The number three highlights qualities such as creativity, communication, sociability, optimism, and adaptability. Three energy is easily channeled through creative endeavors and social interactions that can spark joy and inspiration. And did you know that in numerology, each number from one to nine is associated with a planet? Yeah, it bases this on the vibrational qualities and symbolic significance of the number itself and the planet in relation. Now, this conjunction being associated with this number is extra lucky because the number three is ruled by the planet Jupiter and it gets even better. Just listen. Now in astrology, degrees are used to measure the position of celestial bodies within the zodiac. The zodiac is divided into 360 degrees with each sign spanning 30 degrees and each degree number between one and 29 is associated with a certain zodiac sign. And get this, 21 degrees is associated with the sign Sagittarius the sign Jupiter rules over. And therefore, this degree point holds the flavor of this sign, embodying the energies of abundance, expansion, wisdom, higher knowledge, traveling, and exploration. Now there's also the concept of critical degrees, which refer to specific degrees of the zodiac that are believed to have a heightened significance or influence according to the famous astrologer Nikola Stojanovic and his degrees theory. And 21 degrees is considered a critical degree for all the fixed signs, which now we know includes the sign Taurus. Although the degree theory is primarily considered important when interpreting positions of planets and points in the natal chart, it can also be relevant when considering major transits that occur at a conjunction at such degrees. When such event takes place at a critical degree, it suggests that we'll have some extra challenges to overcome. However, of course, all of this should be considered in relation to the modality of the critical degree, the zodiac sign that the planets are in, the meaning of the planets, and the house that it falls in. Since Jupiter is so prominent in this configuration, its benevolence will have an easier time manifesting with greater support. This optimistic perspective is further validated when we consider the message found within the Sabian symbol for this degree point. And if you've never heard of this before, Sabian symbols are a set of 360 symbolic images, each corresponding to a specific degree in the zodiac. They were developed by astrologer Mark Edmund Jones and clairvoyant Elsie Wheeler in the 1920s. The Sabian symbols are used in astrology as a tool for gaining deeper insights into the meaning of each degree. The Sabian symbol for 21 to 22 degrees Taurus is a white dove flying over troubled waters. This symbol depicts a scene of hope and peace amidst difficulties. The image of a white dove, often associated with peace and purity, flying over troubled waters suggests a message of serenity and transcendence despite the challenges or turbulence present in one's life, represented by the troubled waters. There is a sense of grace and tranquility represented by the dove. Interpreted symbolically, this image can indicate the potential for finding inner peace and harmony even in the midst of chaos or uncertainty. It may suggest the need to rise above challenging circumstances to gain perspective with a sense of calmness, purity, and hope. The white dove is a universal symbol of peace and divine presence. So this symbol can also suggest spiritual guidance or protection during difficult times. It encourages individuals to trust in the possibility of resolution, healing, and renewal, even when faced with adversity. 
Overall, the Sabian symbol for a white dove flying over troubled waters offers a message of optimism, resilience, and the power of inner peace to overcome obstacles and bring about positive transformation. Now, I find this all so fascinating, especially given the fact that Mars, the planet that holds the title, the God of War, will be making an exact sextile to this conjunction as he sits at 21 degrees Pisces, the other sign that Jupiter traditionally rules over. A sextile aspect is a harmonious aspect in astrology that typically involves an intentional action to take advantage of the opportunities that it brings. And Mars is the planet most associated with passionate, assertive, action-oriented energy. The ideal energetic support to help us to courageously overcome any obstacles that may be standing in the way of our growth and blessings. This Jupiter-Uranus conjunction is also forming a beneficial trine aspect to both the Moon and Black Moon Lilith that are in a tight orb conjunction in the service-oriented healing sign of Virgo. This aspect brings a harmonious flow of energy between conscious expansion and emotional intuition. This aspect enhances emotional intelligence, intuition, and receptivity to change. It may bring about a sense of emotional stability and groundedness amidst the excitement and unpredictability of the energies of Uranus and Jupiter. Black Moon Lilith represents the darker, more instinctual aspects of the psyche, including the primal feminine energy and the expression of suppressed emotions and desires. With the trine aspect to the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction and the Moon in Virgo, there may be opportunities to integrate and transform subconscious patterns, fears, and taboos related to self-worth, sexuality, and the shadow side of femininity. This aspect encourages embracing the wild, untamed aspects of the psyche and reclaiming personal power through self-awareness and authenticity. These themes are being further enhanced with the sun that earlier that same day will ingress into the sign Taurus and will form a potent square aspect with Pluto in Aquarius, the sign ruled by Uranus. Pluto holds similar energies to Black Moon Lilith. And overall, the Sun square Pluto aspect challenges us to confront power dynamics, embrace transformation, and assert our individuality in the face of societal upheavals and personal challenges. It invites a deeper understanding of power dynamics and personal empowerment through confronting and transcending limitations. This also holds further significance when we consider the fact that this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction is forming a trine to the same degree point that the notorious Saturn-Pluto Kazemi took place in the sign Capricorn back in January of 2020, further highlighting how much change our world has witnessed over the last few years. And this being a time to pause and celebrate how much light the collective has created through our individual growth and shadow work. And let me just say how impactful that Kazemi moment had on my personal transformation, as it just so happened to occur on my 30th birthday. So I must say, I'm quite excited about the benevolence of this transit making a trine to my natal sun which also just so happens to be the same degree my progressed Venus is currently sitting, which is also my planetary chart ruler. And to top it off, this conjunction is also taking place exactly on my progressed descendant. Let's just say I could really use some lucky energy in my life these days and a change for the better because the last few years have really put me through the ringer. It's been rough, not gonna lie. So tell me how this transit is showing up for you. Who else is getting their personal planets activated? I'd love for you to come back to this video and share your personal revelations or physical manifestations that come about from this transit. But one last thing to note before we talk about how to intentionally work with this transit to co-create with the cosmos, Mercury is still in retrograde motion meaning the effects of this transit could be delayed or manifest in a more internalized fashion. But if you stay open and adaptable to how the energy shows up for you and remain in a state of optimistic faith that it's all happening for your highest good, anything is possible. So what do you want to manifest? 
Okay, so keep that in mind. And now let's get into the practice of alchemy and what techniques are best to incorporate into your ceremony ritual for this transit. Taurus rules over the throat chakra. So now is an excellent time to exercise your voice and communicate your desires to the universe. This chakra is also known in human design as the energy center responsible for manifestation. So sing, shout, tell stories, chant mantras, do whatever to speak your intentions into reality. Side note here, pay close attention to your health and personal expression within this area as well. As Taurus season can help to illuminate any concerns or anxieties that you may have consciously or unconsciously in relation to this body part and energy center. You can also try some yoga poses or guided meditations to balance your throat chakra and tap into the power of this energy center. I also plan on creating a Reiki session that will capture the benevolent power of this transit, which you can use for greater healing and energetic flow. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you don't miss it. Taurus is closely connected to the natural world and the beauty of the earth. So incorporating a plant or some flowers on your altar will honor the natural vibration of Taurus energy. You can also receive a similar effect by placing tarot cards that are associated with Taurus or Venusian energy on your altar, like the Hierophant or the Empress card. Adding the animal totem of the dove with an oracle card, an image, or a talisman of some kind is a way to honor the Sabian symbol of this conjunction, which can also create potent energetic alignment to set your intention. You can also incorporate crystals that resonate with Taurus energy and can enhance your ability to manifest specific intentions and promote personal healing. Here are a few options and how each of them can work for you. Emerald is the birthstone of Taurus and is also associated with the planet Venus. It is known as the stone of successful love and is connected to matters of the heart. Emerald embodies the lush greenery of spring, aligning with Taurus's connection to nature. It promotes love, compassion, and abundance, while also encouraging an open heart to give and receive more freely. Then there's rose quartz. This gentle pink crystal is often called the stone of unconditional love and is associated with nurturing, compassion, and emotional healing. It encourages self-love and acceptance, which is important for these Taurus themes of having a healthy sense of security and self-worth. Then we have green adventurine which is a stone of prosperity and good luck, resonating with Taurus's desires for stability and abundance. It is also a stone of opportunity, promoting optimism, confidence, and courage to embrace change. Then there's Malachite, encouraging transformation, change, and risk-taking, which is perfect for balancing the fixed energy of Taurus and for those of you who are hesitant to embrace the changes that could come of this transit. The deep green energy of Malachite promotes emotional healing and well-being. The meaning of Malachite is to step out of self-limiting beliefs and to leave unhealthy situations behind. And then lastly, we have Lapis Lazuli, which can also help Taurus adapt to change, to release tension, and to become unstuck. The meaning of Lapis Lazuli is surrendering to the truth and embracing self-awareness, which can help you to gain perspective and see things from a different angle. It's a stone of spiritual enlightenment associated with both the third eye and the throat chakra, which can facilitate deep meditation and help you to connect with your higher self and spiritual guides. One more idea that can help you to align with the energy of this transit is through physical embodiment. Find a way to show a deep appreciation for art and nature by spending time outdoors or working with your hands in activities such as gardening or crafts. Get your senses involved and be consciously present, both physically and energetically. As you incorporate these tools and ceremony to manifest with this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction, make sure that your intention is clear and enjoy yourself in the process of communing with the cosmos to co-create your desired reality. I'll leave you with a beautiful quote from Richard Rudd, speaking on Gene Key 27, the Gene Key and Human Design Gate being activated by this conjunction. So in Richard's words, learn to love life through your hands. Give time for your hands to shape and express the beauty of your quintessence. 
Caress life. Release life. Let it slip through your fingers with a smile. Reach out and touch the world around you. Touch the hearts of those around you. Touch the trees. Touch the creatures of our world. Touch your own body. Stroke your wounded heart back to life. If you found this cosmic exploration helpful, hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more transformative insights. And until next time, shine bright star siblings. And then let's look at my shirt up close and personal, a little twirl around.